I can tell this is doing something for me because I'm having to burp as I'm doing this. So great for digestion. Welcome to another reformer workout. My name is Melanie. This is my friend, Rebecca. Today, we're gonna do a Pilates reformer workout for digestion. This can be bloat, it can be PMS days, it could be anything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start lying on the machine today, just flat on your back. You can have any springs on. You're going to scoot your body forward so you have a little bit of room between your shoulders and the shoulder rests. And if you have silver pegs next to your head, your shoulder blocks, you can hold onto those. Or if you don't, just wrap your hands around those blocks. You're gonna just roll your shoulders wide so that your elbows go wide. Bring your legs into tabletop, knees over hips, shins parallel to the ceiling. Squeeze the inner thighs. What we're gonna do is we're going to let the knees float to one side. Your hip is gonna come off of the mat. Squeeze the obliques, bring the legs back to center. Other side. So as you rock side to side for the hip that is starting to drift off the mat, you're really going to feel your core firing, especially along the side with those obliques to try to stabilize and keep you where you are. So why I recommend this one for digestion or bloat or times when you're feeling like maybe your motility is not going so great is just kind of shakes everything up. Find twisting motions and movements in particular really help with releasing trapped gas. That's a technique I really like to use. So ribs are gonna stay down. You don't wanna be gripping through the upper abs necessarily, but you do wanna make sure you're not arching and popping up off the mat. Good. Let's take maybe three or four more in each direction, ensuring that you're still finding that squeeze between the inner thighs. Breathing and exhaling as if you're blowing out your balloon. Very nice, how's this feeling, Rebecca? Good. Good, okay, <laughs> we're getting somewhere. Good, last set. And one side, exhale as you come back to center, opposite side, bring it back to center, very nice. Okay. Next, we're going to put the hands in straps. We're gonna go onto one red and one blue spring or one heavy and one light spring. Legs will float back up to tabletop, hands in your straps, put a little bit of pressure in them so that the palms are right over the shoulders. Headrest can be up or down. So a little bit of pressure to get the hands a little forward, Rebecca. A little more, there you go. And what we're gonna do is just start with a couple of roll-ups with the hands and straps. So big breath in, chin comes to chest, lift up the head, palms float down to the mat, inhale, roll it back down. So again, this forward flexion motion, pelvic tilting, all of this kind of stuff helps what's going on in your inside your belly and your intestines uh, move itself along. Good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna exhale as we press through the straps to roll up. Inhale as we roll down. Shoulders are rolled wide, collarbone nice and wide. As you exhale, think about blowing up a balloon. You want tension to build in between your hip bones, so this TBA, transverse abdominis area, is firing. Good. We're gonna take two more, and next time you're in your roll up, you're gonna hold, feel like you're holding an orange between your chin and your collarbone. You're gonna bring one knee in toward your chest, other leg extends out to 45. Good, switch. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Good, so you can even drift the knee in a little bit further toward your chest if you feel like that inward motion is helping to Mobilize, good, let's go for four, three, switch, two, switch, one, switch. Legs to tabletop, hold the curl, both legs out to 45. Inhale, bring the knees in toward the chest. Good, exhale out, inhale, draw it in. If you need to rest the head down, if your neck is becoming tired, it's completely fine. Good, we're gonna take five, inhale, four, inhale as you bring it in. Three, two, last one, hold, big breath in, exhale, roll it back, knees to tabletop, head goes down, and relax your arms down by your sides. Bring your legs to tabletop. You're just gonna let your knees drift side to side for one second. Or if you can rest on the uh, foot bar if that's more comfortable. Good, 
Next, we're gonna go into some oblique twists. This can be really nice if you find that some side to side movement um, helps you with your digestion. We're gonna bring the legs to tabletop next. Open the knees just about as wide as your hips. So you're gonna have a little bit of space in between your thighs. Arms go up above the shoulders. Put a little bit of pressure into your palms to move the carriage away from the stopper. What we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale, roll up. Your left hand will go in between your knees, right hand to the outside of the right thigh. Inhale, roll it back down. Big breath in, exhale, roll it up opposite side. Good, so you wanna make sure your upper back is really lifting up off the mat each time you roll up. Nice, Rebecca. If your legs are planted together, you're not gonna be able to place your hand in between, so make sure you have enough room. If you need to widen a little bit, feel free to do that. Again, breath pattern is exhale on the roll up, inhale on the roll down, making sure you're not completely collapsing your chin down toward your collarbone. You still have a little bit of space there. Good. And let's go for three more each side. Trying to make sure not to move your knee in toward your chest. Keep it right over your hip. I know it's tempting to let that drift in toward your waist. Good, last couple here. And once you're even on each side, give it a rest. You've got one more, Rebecca. Very nice, roll it down, rest the feet on the foot bar. Arms relax down by your sides, rock your knees side to side. Very good. And we're gonna release the straps for a moment and move on to our next exercise. Okay, next we're gonna go into a move called corkscrew, which is pretty challenging, but again, really adds some nice twisting motion, which can feel really nice when you're having some digestion issues or feeling bloated. So once again, we're gonna scoot a few inches or a little bit away from the shoulder blocks maybe not a few inches, wrap your hands onto the blocks or onto silver pegs if you have them. Elbows will roll wide. We're going to go into corkscrew. So legs will go up to 90. What we're gonna do is roll through the spine, let the toes float up and over, lifting the hips up. As you roll down, you're gonna let your legs go to the side, rock onto one hip, draw your legs to 45, down around, other side, opposite hip lifts and roll back up. You got it. Big breath in, exhale. Ooh, I should watch out where my face is. Backing up, and we're gonna reverse. So each time you come to center, you're gonna roll the body up into this sort of jackknife position. Roll it down, lift one hip. Opposite side, and you're squeezing those inner thighs together the whole time. So as you roll down, you're rolling onto that hip, going to the other side, lifting the hip up, and rolling up to center. Let's just do one more in each direction. Sorry. Sorry. Right. Good. So definitely a lot of real core activation on this one. Back to center, roll it up. And elbows are rolling wide this whole time, making sure your shoulders aren't compressing and coming in toward each other. Good. Really nice. Once you're even, rest your feet down on the foot bar. We'll move on. Next, we're going to place your feet on the sandpaper and we're going to go for a nice roll up. So legs will be squeezed together. You're going to grab on behind the back of your thighs. Big breath in, tuck your chin to your chest. We're going to roll up, sit up nice and tall until you're sitting as high as you can. We're now going to switch on to two red springs and one blue spring or two heavy and one blue. We'll go for a stomach massage. So your feet are going to come onto the foot bar in Pilates V, small V. So toes are apart on the bar. Heels are together. You're going to scoot your butt as far toward the front of the carriage as you can. Hands will be on the edge of the mat, straight as you can. And we're gonna go for a nice C curve. So it's a stomach massage round back. Head will be lifted, arms as straight as you can get them and butt as far forward as you can. So we're gonna extend the legs straight. Heels stay together, toes stay apart. Legs straight, press the heels under the carriage. Raise them back up. Lift and bend the knees to bring it back in, staying in that curve the whole time. Lift the head, extend the legs, heels go under. Lift the heels, bend the knees, bring it home. Heels stay together the whole time. Good. Try to control the carriage on the way in. We continue breathing through this. Try to keep that stopper from clicking. Good, more control, heels together. Nice, beautiful, one more. Good, bring it in. So next, stomach massage, flat back. Shoulders over hips, you're gonna scoot your butt as far forward as you can. Fingers wrapped around those shoulder blocks. Arms will be 
kind of a little bit bent behind you. Small V, we're gonna extend the legs again, keeping the torso long. Lower the heels under the foot bar. Exhale as you press up. Heels stay together, bring it right back in. Knees go wider, good. Exhale as you press out, heels under, straight legs, lift the heels, bent knees come in. Good, let's take four more here. Good, still keeping your breath. Relax the shoulders, let the traps kind of fall. I know it's so hard in this position. Your elbows can be a little bit more bent. Nice. I'm trying to think about lifting through that lumbar spine. So not tucking the tail beneath you. Okay, last two. Heels together. Good, last one. Relax the traps. Very nice, bring it in, close the carriage. Beautiful work. Let's just finish up with a little bit of nice thoracic rotation. So next, we're gonna finish up in this cross-legged position. I'm gonna place your hands on your knees to begin. We're just gonna go for a little bit of arch and curl. So I'll turn the face side. We're gonna sit up as tall as you can, making sure your tailbone is flaring back behind you, your sits bones are behind you. We're gonna curve inward like someone's pushing your belly button back. Shoulders will round, pelvis rocks forward. Big breath in, exhale, lift up, shoulders over hips. Now arch the back like you're flaring your rib cage forward. Your sternum is shining toward the ceiling, your gaze goes up. Inhale, someone's pushing your belly button. Big flex, big curve, pelvis curls under. Finding that spinal mobility. Sit up really tall. Find your arch, very good. Let's go for three more. Good, finding that round back, get roundness in the lumbar spine too. Exhale, good, extend from both the lower spine and the upper spine. Good, last one. Exhale as you lift up, arch and restack yourself, shoulders over hips, rib cage down. Now we're gonna go for rib figure eight. So if it's easier to kneel or stand for this one, feel free, I'm gonna kneel. Rebecca, you can stay wherever you like. And actually place your hands on your ribs. So think about your little thumb and finger joint here resting on your ribs. What we're gonna do is first move side to side. So just think about your left rib pushing the right rib to the side, back to center. Right rib pushing the left rib to the side and back to center. So we're doing this without popping the rib cage out. Ribs are staying down. We're just moving side to side each time, hitting that center point. Your hips are staying still. If it's easier to put your hands on your hips, to feel the ribs move your torso side to side, feel free to do that. I'll take one more each side, and then we're gonna make it a little more interesting. So once again, fingers on your ribs. What we're gonna do is lift the right rib up, out, and around. We're gonna draw a circle with the right rib. Now draw a circle with the left rib. So you may wanna lift your shoulder as you're doing this. Think about the shoulders staying down. If you had a pencil on each of your ribs, the pencil on the right draws a circle first, and then the pencil on the left draws a circle next. You can tell this is doing something for me because I'm having to burp as I'm doing this. So great for digestion. We'll go for a couple more. Also kind of fires up your obliques a little bit. I don't know if you're feeling that, I'm feeling that. Yeah. All right, after you're even on each side, we're gonna reverse. So starting with the left rib, you're gonna go down, up, and around to center. Right rib down, up, and around. So it's a really small movement. Hips are staying as still as possible. Just getting your rib cage moving, your spine moving. Good, let's go for two and switch and one and switch, very nice. Next, hands on the back of your head. We're gonna lift up out of your hips. We're gonna turn toward your right, rotating through the spine so it's not just the elbows moving. Thinking about your elbows staying the same width the whole time, back to center. Switch to the left, center. So elbows stay as open as they can. You're moving through your thoracic spine. So it's everything up from your mid back around your bra line, if you're someone who wears a bra. Exhale. Inhale as you come back to center. Exhale as you twist. Shoulders stay down. 
One more each side. Back to center, elbows come in, flex the spine, look for your belly button, elbows come together. Inhale, exhale, open up wide, arch the spine up. Back to center and you're all done. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rebecca, great job. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit better and uh, please like this video. If you liked it, subscribe and we'll see you next time.